Well, hey there, Christopher James, the property magician, here uh, with Branson Talk with this week. We took the last couple weeks off uh, for the holidays, so we haven't been here for a couple of weeks, but it is January 8th, 2023 now. January 8th, 2023, and we're going to go over some things that are going on in the area. Mainly, we're going to talk about area appreciation specials and things that are happening right now. But as always, be sure to pop your comments down there in the comments section. And if you're watching this live, we'll be sure to uh, put them up on the screen because we do this live, as I say, every week so that we can get discussion with everybody. OK, because it's not fun to do it uh recorded and then people can't interact so right now tell me where you're watching from i know we have some people watching also do me a favor and let me know in the comments if the sound is okay we got a brand new microphone and so we're trying it out and so let me know in the comments if everything sounds good but most importantly let me know where you're watching from all right so uh, just pop it in the comments there and it's good to have you this sunday morning january 8th 2023 it must be 11 o'clock in Branson, Missouri. So let's get right to it. There's a lot happening. If you're looking for a job in the Branson area, well, you're in luck. Not only can you go to our Branson Help Wanted group, okay, which we'll show you the logo at the end, uh, but you can go and watch that, uh, check out the listings on there. Oh, good. We're starting to get some comments. Let me adjust that so that they'll pop up here on, where can we put you? Here, I'm going to put you. On the screen. All right, so not only uh, can you check the Branson Help Wanted to let us know uh, so that you can stay in touch as to what's offering, but Branson, Missouri is currently hiring for the government, city government here. They are looking for a human resources analyst. They are looking for a parks and rec facility and aquatic manager supervisor. OK, and they're looking for a finance account manager as well. So if you're interested in looking for a job and working in the Branson area, go down to City Hall. Check out the Branson, Missouri City Government Facebook page, also their website. And they are currently hiring for those three positions, human resource analyst, parks and rec, facility and aquatic supervisor, as well as a finance account manager. So if you're interested, be sure to check those out. All right, super. So those are job openings, job openings, not openings, happening. What's going on, Carol? It's just been a long week. I've had a lot going on. So the question of the week for all of you watching is, do you visit Branson during the off season? Now, it's generally considered to be January and February. When I first started working in Branson, Missouri, it was all the way until April, okay? And so now shows are opening up. So the question of the week for Branson, Missouri, let me know in the comments, do you visit Branson during our off season? That would be January and February. Let us know in the comments there right now. So some of the specials going on for area appreciation. Our first one, is one of our favorite places to visit, and that would be Fritz's Adventure. And now through, that should say through, not through, all right, that's a typo, through the 26th of February. Why does February have the extra R? February, I guess. Uh, you can get into Fritz's Adventure if you're a local uh, for $24.95. Now this includes the whole package, the city wall, the rope course, and the zip line. For $19.95 you can get in, but that doesn't include the zip line. Ages zero through four are free to get into Fritz's Adventure. So if you live in any of the counties that you'll find on their Facebook page or on their website, this includes Taney County, Stane County, Barry, Stone County, Barry, Polk, Shannon, uh, Texas County, and so on, even down into Arkansas. If you've never been to Fritz's Adventure in Branson, Missouri, you need to check it out. So go to their Facebook page and check out their website to see if you qualify for the special prices and take advantage of it January and February. Check out Fritz's Adventure, one of our favorite things to do in Branson, Missouri. Check out their website. Another special that we have going on is, would be the WonderWorks homeschool program that they have that's good in January and February of this year, okay? So if you have not been to WonderWorks in Branson, Missouri, right now is the time to go and visit if you have any homeschool children. It's good January and February 2023 and weekdays before 2 p.m., so basically before regular school is out, the admission is $12. And if you have not been to WonderWorks, you're missing out. It's one of our favorite things to do. 
okay? Not only for children, but for adults. There's all kinds of science experiments. There's all kinds of space things, and there's STEM in there. There's a little art exhibit. It's so much fun. Wonderworks is one of our favorite things. So do not miss out on Wonderworks in Branson. Take advantage of their homeschool special. If you're not homeschooled, go anyways. Go out and check them out. One of the other specials that we have going on in Branson is uh, the, a special announcement that we have is that one of our favorite things, the Branson Regional Arts Council, Branson Regional Arts Council in Branson, Missouri, recently finally purchased the theater that they've been doing shows in. They've been working towards it for five years. And the big announcement in the last week or so is that they now own the theater. If you're into live theater, Okay, and you're in the Branson area, be sure to check out the many plays and musicals that they have. Over the last year alone, in 2022, they held 10 big major events. They uh, helped 30 visual artists show off their crafts. They had 157 tech crew jobs in the last year. Okay, 140 volunteer positions. So 140 people could volunteer to help out to keep community theater alive, and 245 acting roles at the historic Owen Theater thanks to the Branson Regional Arts Council. So do me a favor, follow their Facebook page, check out their website. They have a lot of great shows coming up in 2023. Don't miss out on this. Take advantage of the local theater in Branson, Missouri. Now with a special announcement, our guest correspondent. Carol, is she ready? Let's do it. Cassie from Kids Connection recommending you a family attraction for your friends and family. The Butterfly Palace is a great place to visit because it has a Rainforest Discovery Center, a big butterfly aviary, and a mirror maze. The Butterfly Aviary has over 1,500 butterflies free roaming and a 5,500 square feet aviary. It is located on 76 Country Boulevard and you can get 66% off tickets if you can show them this picture which is located on their Facebook page or if you or if you order tickets online. This is Cassie. Bye. Well, that's Cassie from Kids Connection. You guys all remember her, right? She loves doing this. You can be seeing much more of her because she wants to be involved and recommend things for kids. She did all the research on that and she recorded that and and uh, she's really dedicated into finding things for kids to do. So uh, say hi to her in the comments. She reads all the comments. So as always, we want you to check in. Let us know where you're watching from right now. We'll pop it up on the screen. We like to see what the reach is. We've had so many people. Well, you wouldn't believe how popular these videos are. Now, we don't just show them on Facebook. We put them on Instagram. We put them, uh, boy, on the Facebook groups. They're on the pages. We put them on the website. We put them on TikTok. So you're just seeing a small portion of the number of people that see these. So let us know where you're watching from. We'll pop it up on the screen there as well. But this week's dining recommendation, people always love this. This week's food pick of the week for Branson, Missouri is definitely the Branson Food Park. Now, Branson has this food park. A lot of people don't know about it. It's located over at 2166 State Highway 248. And in the food park, there are about seven to nine, I don't remember, Carol, how many, seven, nine, wh whatever. There's a bunch of these food trucks in there. Now, it started off with just one, with Dre's Kitchen, which we've always raved about. But now you can have a whole selection of all this different type of food, everything from Venezuelan food, food from Louisiana. They have tacos, Filipino food, Hawaiian food, okay? And they even have the boba. The boba, if you don't know this, uh, they put the, the beads in there, the, the little jelly ball things and stuff in your drink. But they also have food at this, too. Now, you need to check it out. You can go to their Facebook page, the Branson Food Park, or go to the website. They also have an Instagram page that I think they just started, Instagram account. And so go on there and check it out and give them a like. We just did today. So let's drive some traffic their way because all of them are the nicest people over there. And I am not kidding when I say this. Carol would agree because she eats, what do you eat? Like eight to nine different meals a day. She would agree that it's some of the best food in town. We were just there the other day 
And when we go with the family, we split up. We all get different things. I love the Hawaiian food because I can get an Impossible Burger because I'm a vegetarian. So they have the Impossible Burger. Look at it. Look at it in the picture. It is incredible. And Dre's Kitchen, they have the hibachi. They also have a whole selection of fish now, everything from swordfish to ahi tuna to tilapia, other fish. But you can get that in the hibachi as well. And the kids love the chicken hibachi there with the yum yum. Everybody likes the yum yum. And we tried out the boba stand as well. And they had uh, chicken and rice and the boba tea. So you need to check it out. Go over to the Branson Food Park. Okay, tell them that we sent you from All Things Branson, Branson Talk, and all that. But try it out. This is our Branson pick of the week of where you should be dining when you visit Branson. Or if you live in Branson, go give them a shout. Everybody I know eats there. It's a local thing. Like, everybody loves it. Check them out. So there you go. So where do you like to eat in Branson? Let us know in the comments right now because people read these you know, weeks later. And so let them know something. Not a chain. We don't like to eat at chain things at all. Uh, so it's always weird to me. People come on vacation and they eat at like Olive Garden or uh, Cheddar's, which is like a big buffet or something. D don't do that. Like eat, uh, eat something very local. So let us know right in the comments uh, right now. Where do you like to eat in Branson, Missouri? Right now, though, it's time to look at what it's like to live in Branson. So people are always asking me, probably the number one question I get when I travel or when I talk with tourists in this area is what is it like to live in Branson, Missouri? So that is why we put together these little segments about what housing is like and what it's like just basically to live in Branson. But this week, we're going to focus more on the locals rather than advertising a lot of the houses and apartments and rentals that are available, we offer a special service. Now, this year I invested in a website. I'm paying a monthly fee to give you information. Now, it's no fees to you, okay? And it's super simple to use. Here, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Take a look. So see, it's super simple. You go to 417housevalue.com, you put in your address, okay, and it's just going to give you an estimate as to what your house is worth. Not only that, but once you put in the address, you can check back regularly and it will keep you updated as to any changes. So if houses in the neighborhood sell, okay, it's going to adjust your price. If the market changes, which it's constantly changing, it's going to adjust the price. There's no fee to you. I'm doing the investment. I'm paying the monthly fee. And, you know, I signed up for this and I offered it to people that I knew personally, and they love it because you can figure out how much equity you have in your Branson area house, okay? They love it. So now I'm offering it. I upgraded my package that I have through the uh, service so that we can add more people. So when you go on there, just type in your address. Okay, you're not going to get inundated with emails or anything like that. It's truly going to give you a home estimate. And then what you can do is customize it even more by putting in the number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, just different details about your house so that you can get a, a more accurate reading as to what your house could be worth. So do it, okay? It's not costing you anything. There's really no obligation to you. It's 417housevalue.com. Do it and stay in touch because the housing market changes constantly. You know here in Branson, it changes by season because when we get a lot of tourists and people are buying a lot of things, well, it gets busier and busier there. So don't miss out on this. Take advantage of this offer. And uh, it's well, it's not even an offer. It's just a service that I'm giving to you. Uh, at my cost. So check it out, 417housevalue.com. So there you go. So be sure to do that. Take advantage of the 417housevalue.com and just find out the value of your house. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to follow us on Branson Dining, Branson Nightlife, Branson Help Wanted if you're looking for a job or if you have a job to offer, and of course, Branson Kids Connection. You'll find the most updated information. It's civil discussion, okay? And of course, uh, as always, join Branson Talk as well. 
we're civil. We don't allow people to call names. There's some other sites out there that don't do a lot for the Branson image. And uh, so be sure to do that. Follow us for the latest updates and latest discussion. Join us next week here uh, for the Branson update. Watch for us. And if you have something to announce, we'd love to promote your local business. It has to be a local business. That's why we started all of this, it was to promote local businesses. Get in touch with us if you have a local restaurant or a local business, and we'll be happy to come out, check it out, and maybe you could be featured next week and get yourself in front of, I think the last video that we did before Christmas, if you add up all the YouTube and all that, had like 7,000 different views or something. It was, an, it was crazy. So be sure to let us know if we should feature your business and say hi on all of the Facebook groups. Other than that, have a great, great week in the Branson area. We hope you come visit us and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.